Hi, I'm from Data Support Company and this video will show you how to run the test step by step. Now, on a separate video, we will show you the detailed way on how you, will, you will prepare the sample. But this video will just show you the step by step procedure on how to run the test. Okay, the first thing you'll be needing is one aluminum dish and two pads. Now, this should be clean aluminum dish and pads and use. So every time you're done with the test, you discard them. These are consumables. Okay, so uh, you put one aluminum dish and two pads and put it inside the chamber. And uh, that normally weighs about three and a half grams. So once it's settled there, you press this button, the tear button, to zero out the reading. Okay, once you have zero out the reading, you place your sample on the um, on top of the pad. So I already prepared something here. Okay, so you will see your target is about three to four grams of samples. So that's how it would look like once you have the right sample size. Now, you take it down here, okay? And what you do after that is that you spread your sample as evenly as and as thinly as possible on the pad. Okay, once you have done that, you grab the uh, pad at the bottom, put it on top, okay, press them gently, and flip it over in such a way that the pad where you originally spread the sample will be on top. Back to the aluminum dish, back to the chamber, close the hood, and press this button to start the test. Okay. So you will see that um, uh, that the uh, time is counting and um, the test is going on. Again, uh, you will see a uh, an arrow here pointing to percent BF to tell you that this reading is the percent BF. Okay, so you can leave it like that, do something else, and then just uh, go back uh, to check once the test is done. Now, you will notice that the test is done, and I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to press the stop button just to um, show you how it looks like. But ordinarily, when you're running this, uh, it will run by itself automatically and will stop automatically. Okay, so just to show you how it looks like at the end of the test, I'm going to press the stop button. And you will see that the display is blinking, and then you will hear that beeping sound. Okay, so that will tell you that the test is done. Okay, so when you see that this is not blinking, and you, you don't hear any beeping sound, that means the test is still going on. Okay, so now if you want to run another test, just make sure you take note of the result because once you press the T button, which is also the reset button, it will clear out the reading. So once you have recorded the test result and you want to run another test, press the tear button, which also serves as the reset, and you will see it will stop blinking and it will now show you a reading in grams. So all you have to do is take this out, okay? Press the tear button, okay? Put another fresh aluminum dish and pads and go to the same cycle that I've shown you earlier. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for your time.